Let's take a look in the Arctic. Let's see what we got here. So you can see you got Spanish mackerel and the flounders on the bottom. So let's go ahead and fillet them up. Get out the house, goldfish. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. And this is Cooking with Katie. And Katie's right uh, behind the camera here. And here she comes. And Mike, Cooking with Katie and Mike. So uh, <laughs> today we went out uh, to uh, Fort Clinch again today. This time we were su successful and we actually caught, I caught a flounder she caught on a double hookup. Uh, two Spanish mackerel. So uh, great job, Katie. So uh, I'm actually going to cook this uh, uh, or get the Spanish mackerel ready. She's going to actually uh, tell me how you're going to prepare that flounder. Cornmeal and fry it. Salt and She's pepper. Some cornmeal, fry it, salt and pepper. I'm going to do a little bit something different with the Spanish mackerel. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you, are you going to eat the Spanish mackerel? I'll taste it. She's going to taste it, uh, but she likes the flounder better. So, but I've never had Spanish mackerel, and so I'm going to have the Spanish mackerel. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some butter, uh, and this is, guys, this is a stick of butter. It's just three tablespoons I have. I just cut right on the marker, three tablespoons, and then I'm going to actually uh, put a, uh, a tablespoon of uh, some uh, minced garlic and olive oil. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to mix that up really good, and then uh, after I mix that up, uh, I'm going to apply that to the fish. And then I'm going to sprinkle some uh, black pepper and some salt and some uh, Old Bay seasoning. And then kind of top it off. I don't have any fresh parsley today, so I'm just going to put some parsley flakes right on top of that. Cook that up. Uh, I'm going to put that in. Actually, I'm just going to put it in the full pack. And then I'm going to uh, put it on 400 for about 10 minutes and uh, let that cook in, in the pack. And then, uh, once that comes out, we're gonna have some steamed rice, probably some like jasmine rice uh, to put on top of the rice. And we're cooking some corn also. And what else we, do we have, Katie? Oh, what's for um, Is this for the rice? rice. Sorry, okay, I was for the rice. Nicholas. So we're gonna get this, uh, get this started here. She's actually uh, starting up with the rice. She just put the rice in. Excuse me. Spoon. Sorry. All right. So we got the rice going. Got the corn there. We'll. Uh, she's gonna fry the. Uh, we'll go through the process of uh, how she's uh, preparing the the flounder. Uh, I'll go through the process of how I'm gonna be uh, preparing the Spanish mackerel. So let's get started. So I've gotten a piece of aluminum foil here, and I've actually just sprayed it with uh, some canola oil. So, ah. Well, okay. I'm dropping stuff here. All right. So Katie's watching the rice, the jasmine rice, and so let me uh, take the fish out and uh, go ahead and uh, put it on there. All right. So I got the. Uh, the flays, as you can see, the skin is still on, so I'm just going to leave the skin on. I'm going to go ahead and lay it across here. Okay. And then, we're going to uh, actually get that mixture of the three tablespoons of butter and the one tablespoon of uh, minced garlic with olive oil. Uh, get that mixed up. So let's do that next. Oh no. And then uh, I'm just taking this off. This is the three tablespoons of butter. Put that right there. I'm going to actually melt that down in the uh, microwave. Let me do that. 
All right, so that just came out of the microwave there. So I'm just going to get a spoonful of this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Spoonful? Yeah. Good enough? Yeah, it's, good. it's way stronger than anything. Yeah. So, and then I'm going to actually just mix that up. Just like that. All right, so what I'm going to do now, now that's mixed up, I'm going to take it over here to where the fillets are. I'm actually going to start putting that onto the fillets. Just like that. Now this is the first time I've prepared this and this is done this like this, so I'm just I don't know what this is gonna taste like. There'll be plenty of butter, it'll melt all in the melt all together, it'll be fine. Should be plenty in there. What you think, Katie? I mean, it'll melt all in there, it should be all good. Mm -hmm. You know, some parts aren't covered, don't worry about that. Okay, then once you got, you got that, then you want to actually add, I got my Old Bay here. I'm going to actually add my Old Bay. Pretty generous for that. That. I'm going to add some pepper, if I can get it open. Pepper. Pepper. And then some salt. And then, I'm just going to throw on top just some parsley flakes. Since I don't have the fresh parsley. Alright, I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I'm going to let that cook in there for about 10 minutes. close this up so I'm gonna do this close each side up like so then for that so that butter doesn't melt out I always like to fold twice on each side so it doesn't come out of that and leak out of there all right, so I'm actually going to get a pan, put that in a pan, and it's going to go into the oven. You open that for me, babe? And there it goes. Now we're going to set that timer for 10 minutes. All right, now Katie's going to go through the process of doing the, uh, the flounder. So tell me what you're doing there. I'm checking to see if it boils hot enough. All right. And it is. I'm winging it today. I put them in some uh, white cornmeal. Normally I use yellow, but white's what I have, so I'm going to use white. Don't matter. So the moon is going to start doing its thing. Um, you can season it however you want. I'm a sucker for Old Bay on just about anything. So there it is, Old Bay and salt and pepper. Not a whole lot different. But it gets nice and crispy, and I really like that. And it just takes a couple of minutes. I like to turn it over after a couple of minutes and uh, get full size. All right. Let's get the next one in there. <laughs> there you go. Here we go again.
Yep, that rice is coming along good. We have all the flounder fillets and the skillet frying up. Yeah. And then we have the, uh, the Spanish mackerel and the full pack in the oven cooking up right now. So got about, about six more minutes left on the Spanish mackerel. Uh, the flounder's frying on the uh, stove top. Rice is about done. We got some corn. So this is my first time, guys, trying the uh, Spanish mackerel. So I can't wait to taste it. All right, she took the little piece off. That was on the back side, the, the on the white side, that little piece. It didn't really have a, the, as much meat on the white side as it did on the darker side. So. And these suckers are done. Yeah, and how long do you think? It probably cooked for, or fried in the, uh, the oh, pan there for. Five or six minutes, yeah. it's not long. Pretty quick. There we Let go. Let sit and drain for a minute. Yeah. I'm going to go clean this up. Looking awesome. Rice is done. And we're just waiting on that Spanish mackerel to come out now. Mm -hmm. All right. That means that Spanish ma mackerel should be done. So let's take it out of the oven. All right, so we got the Spanish mackerel out onto the stove top, and we're going to open this up. Let's take a look at it. And it is just smelling amazing. I, got, I think I need a fork to do that because I don't want to... Burn yourself. Yeah, that's really hot. So, let's open this up. Woo! Smell the goodness. That smells good. It does, doesn't it? Oh, sorry if I turned it off. Oh my goodness, look at that. So that looks pretty darn awesome there. Um, I'm going to take a little piece off here. Try to taste this. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I'm dropping a little bit. Oh my gosh. That is, I think, some of the best fish I've had. Like, it is really, really good. Well, let me, let me get Katie to take a bite of this. I mean, the flavor is, oh my gosh. It is good. Is that not, I mean, the, just the, the flavor just, is just amazing. And it's super, super delicate. Meat. Yeah, it is delicate meat, but. I definitely wouldn't cook that any more than 10 minutes. No. Mm -mm. That's good. It yeah. really takes on the flavor of whatever you put in there with it. Now yeah. Good. Really good. Awesome. Yeah. We're going to try this little, uh, try a little piece of the, uh, I know I'm cheating here a little bit, so get the flounder. Nothing like some fresh fried fish. I mean, just like I remember it. Yeah. All right, so another little taste test from my my son Mikey. All right, Mikey. Don't be scared. You ready? Uh huh. Just let that flavor think about it isn't that good that's think about good. it yeah <laughs> that's, that's pretty good a piece of the flounder too yeah okay let's get some flounder going on that's right mm. that's some cool. good crispy flounder mm-hmm it's just like the one i had yeah the last flounder mm -hmm. last flounder mikey caught so he that's remembers way, that one that's the way i cooked it or my dad cooked it when i was a little girl that's good yeah that Spanish mackerel is. Uh, I've never just, had Spanish mackerel. I haven't either. I've never yeah. even seen one until today. Mm. <laughs> so. Yeah, she caught she she caught them and she's like, she's 
She didn't know what it was. She's like, what is that? Go I can believe there were, there were two on the line right. at the same time. No, we're inshore. We're right off... Uh, Lynch. Yeah. Right on the beach there. We, we saw good. some, mm -hmm. you know how when you see bait fish and they're making the water, it almost looks like the water's boiling? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, there's some bait fish. We should try to throw our lines yeah. out. Yeah, so as soon as they, we saw the bait fish all like jumping around and everything, I mean, I tossed mine in first, and then she kind of moved down a couple steps, and then as the soon bait, as she threw in, I mean, both both got hooked. I mean, both her, uh, her jigs got... It had just touched the water. Yeah. I had my, you know, that first reel you do, mm -hmm. and then they were on. Too, yep. at the same time. She and she looked at me and she was like, Oh my gosh. Yeah, and she's like reeling it in. And she, I mean, two of them came right up. I was like, Oh my gosh, you got a double hook up. So we're going to get yeah. our plates all done up and we're going to sit at the table and we're going to enjoy this meal. All right, we are sitting down to this wonderful meal. And uh, we already tried out the Spanish mackerel and the flounder. It, Wonderful. So if y'all like this, uh, or if y'all have any other recipes for flounder or Spanish mackerel, go ahead and uh, comment below. And also, uh, or if you have a link to your video, just put it down there. I'll go check it out and maybe try it out next time. Um, just like always, if y'all enjoyed this, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, we're gonna actually uh, enjoy our meal now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got anything to say, Katie? No, thank you for no? watching. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. The last time I looked, I was up to like 234 subscribers, I believe. And that is just amazing. And I uh, want to thank each and every one of y'all. Like I said, by the end of the summer, I'm trying to get up to at least 500. And then maybe by the end of the year, my goal is 1,000. But... 500 would be amazing um, and I want to thank each and every one of y'all and also if you don't know about the giveaway uh, I'm, I'll put the link below but there is a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers and there will be a first place second place and third place winner just to let y'all know okay